Hi, this is John. Now, this is my second attempt. I'll put the first attempt on the uh, end as an outtake. Um, now, I've been thinking about those enchanted relationships again, and what I really meant to say was like childlike, naive relationships. Now, if, if you think of a child living in a naive world, um, or, no, in, in an enchanted world, then uh, that's, that's the sort of enchanted I was thinking about, not uh, divine. Um, and then you get have enchant a, a naive art, don't you, where a, an adult paints sort of in a naive way, an, an educated way, and can create some quite interesting stuff. So if, if you're somebody who's not very good at conflict, I mean, a, a child learns learns how to uh, how to engage in conflict um, in, in, a, in a sensible way without actually losing one's temper you know which is, is debate isn't it you know you learn how to debate and, and, and um, uh, uh, have a put forward a put forward an argument and then a counter argument and then some sort of synthesis comes from that you know that's the way the world goes on um, but if you're if you've never quite got to that stage, and, and you, you 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 can't stand conflict, and, and there are a lot of people who can't stand conflict, um, that flavors flavors uh, friendships and relationships. So as soon as you get to a stage where you have a have some sort of difference of opinion, difference difference, then that becomes um, uh, disenchanted. This is the, this is what I was trying to say. Um, Uh, and and the, if you get somebody who can't stand any sort of conflict and they go for an interview um, there's all sorts of strange things go on at interviews I, I believe that there's always someone there who, um, who who's there to play devil's advocate and um, and they want to get into an argument with you just to see how you react in that sort of situation um, Another thing about interviews is they've all got their question to ask and they all want their specific answer. If you just happen to chance by the right answers that they want, you're through. And then if you do get through, and, and then you meet all the inter people who are interviewing afterwards, um, it's funny because they, 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 they're completely different people. It's all sort of a great big act, a game. Um, and there's all sorts of games going on all the time. The Games People Play by Eric Byrne. That's a good book. Um, uh, you know, if you want to avoid something, uh, you know, you're at an interview uh, and they say to you, Oh, have you got private means? Can you support yourself? Um, and, and you don't want to tell them. You say something like, Ah, well, my grandfather always said, Never go into financial matters with, um, with people. <laughs> Or, or, or such like you learn little codes, and they and then they'll say something like, um, "Yes, Mr. Simpson, but you've come for this job, and we want to know." <laughs> and, 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 and the horns are locked, you know. <laughs> well, if you want me for the post, you'll have to bear with my answers. You know, it's it's all sorts of games all the time, and you have to get to you have to learn these games. You know, it's no good being naive in this world, I'm afraid. Um, naive and childlike. Uh, although uh, the Bible um, encourages us to be naive and childlike, uh, <laughs> you'll get destroyed. Destroyed, I will destroy you. Right, don't forget to watch the outtake if it comes out. Right, bye. Hi, it's John. Now I've been having some discussion about the um, enchanted relationships, and and what I what I really meant to say was like naive relationships. Um, now if you think of uh, 